If you suffer from hay fever, the month of September is probably not very fun for you. And that's because there's a lot of pollen flying around that can cause us to have some pretty bad reactions in our nasal passages. Well, I can tell you that the pollen from this plant is not going to cause any problems. This is goldenrod, and it gets a bad rap a lot of the time because it begins to bloom this time of the year. And a lot of people think, well, you know, they see those, those yellow flowers, those showy flowers, and they think, well, that must be where all that bad pollen's coming from. Well, it's not. Goldenrod has showy flowers, and it is pollinated by insects. The insects are attracted to those colorful flowers that get the pollen on their legs, and they fly off to other goldenrod flowers, and that's how the plant pollinates itself. The goldenrod pollen is actually heavy and sticky. It doesn't blow around. Now, the plants that are causing the really bad problems this time of the year are right down here. Right here, we've got a little patch of common ragweed. Now, in Oklahoma, we have about seven different species of ragweed, and I want to just show you the three most common. Now, you can kind of see the flowers up at the top here. They're, they're green. They're not attractive. It's actually a plant in the daisy family. You kind of turn them up like that, and you kind of see those tiny little flowers hanging down. They're itty-bitty, not attractive to insects. The plant is pollinated by the wind, and that means it produces a lot of pollen. I mean, just copious amounts of pollen, this ragweed pollen. And that pollen has a lot of little barbs all over the ends of it. If you look at it under a, a microscope, you can see how, how rough it is. And we, we breathe it in, our bodies create that reaction that just keeps us sneezing and, and wheezing. But this is the common ragweed. It is an annual. Right over here, we have one of the other three most common species. This is western ragweed. Now this one is a problem because it's perennial and you can see that this has actually been mowed a few times. So these plants are pretty small but uh, yet they still flower if they haven't been mowed at this time of the year. But you can uh, kind of see a little bit of the difference here. The, the common ragweed has more of a dissected leaf. The stems are a little bit redder and uh, with the uh, perennial ragweed here a little bit lighter green in color and just has a little bit different look to it. The stems don't really show any of that red coloration, but the flowers you can see at the top of the plant do, do look very similar, and like the common ragweed, produce a lot of the pollen as well. Well, one other species of ragweed I want to show you is this one right over here, one of the other three most common species in Oklahoma. This is giant ragweed, and this is an annual plant. Germinates from seed in the spring every year, and just look how tall this thing can get. I mean, it's almost tree-like. And you can see those ragweed flowers up at the very top. So they can really pick up that wind and just blow all over the place and cause lots of us to start sneezing. Uh, it's interesting that the deer really like to feed on this plant during the growing season. But uh, giant ragweed, another one of those allergy-causing ragweeds that we have so many of here in Oklahoma. Well, if you suffer from hay fever caused by ragweed pollen. There are some things that you can do to lessen the problem. If you have to be outside, try to pick a day where the uh, weather is kind of calm. Maybe there's not a lot of wind blowing, it's cool. Maybe there's a lot of humidity in the air, or maybe right after it's just rained is a good time to go out because there won't be as much of that pollen in the air blowing around. Now, on days when we've had a lot of dry weather, it's really hot and it's windy. Those are going to be some of the worst days because that pollen is really dispersed. It's everywhere. It's blowing around and we really start breathing it in. Uh, whenever you're outside and you come back in, be sure and uh, uh, wash yourself really well. Wash your clothes, that kind of thing. Get that pollen off of you. And your pets also can bring in a lot of ragweed pollen in their fur. Don't hang any clothes out on the line this time of the year because when you bring those in, they're going to have the, the uh, ragweed pollen all over them as well. Well, it's interesting to know that the botanical name for ragweed is ambrosia, and the word means fruit of the gods. And if there's ever been a misnamed plant, I think ragweed and ambrosia 
is certainly one that uh, should probably be called something else. So uh, take care and hope you don't suffer too bad this season from the ragweed pollen. Ugh. <laughs>